Hi guys, today we are going to show you how to do the heart, the breakable heart. So we have our heart silicone mold. <clears throat> got our melted white chocolate. I've already melted it. Just got to stir it up. And of course our pastry brush. Let's just stir this chocolate up here. I melted it on high for about 60 seconds. And these are the Ghirardelli chocolate melts that I used. All right. So they're nice and silky smooth. And so we're just going to use our pastry brush, saturate it nicely, and then we're going to fill our mold. We're going to do our first coat in our mold. Make sure you get every nook and cranny because you want to make sure when you take it out of here that you've got everything covered. You can even do the pour mo method, rather, where you pour it in here and just move it around. I prefer this method for the first coat, and then for the second coat, I'll pour it in there. But I want to make sure I get everything. All right, I'm going to finish with the first coat. And then I'll come back. All right, the first coat is done. You can really probably barely even see anything because this is a white mold and that's white chocolate. But we're gonna kind of hit it down, fill in any empty spots. You see? I don't know if you can really see it, but chocolate's still moving around in there. We're going to put this in the refrigerator uh, for about two minutes. And then we're going to do the second coat. We'll be back after it comes out of the fridge. All right, so I have the mold from the fridge. It's nice and sturdy, but we're going to go over it again one more time and we're especially going to focus around these edges we're also going to get a knife because when we take it out of the refrigerator the second time we're going to make sure we scrape these edges real good and get all that extra chocolate off of there so i'm going to use the brush the second time around instead of the pour method and I'm gonna hit these edges real good. Because it's cold, it'll stick really well. It'll harden up really well, really quickly on top of the other layer. Get all the crevices. You want a perfect heart. All right. So I'm going to finish doing this last layer. And then when we come back, we're gonna scrape the edges and try to pull it out of the mold and see what we get and then we'll decorate it. All right, we'll be right back. All right guys, we're back. So it's out of the refrigerator for the second time and it's, you know, not super smooth underneath but no one's gonna see that. But what we're gonna do is if you can see these edges where the chocolate is 
up there, we're going to go ahead and get that off really gently with a knife. I just use a little sharp knife. And you want to be careful because you don't want to break your heart. <laughs> don't want your heart broken, right? Just about done doing that part. One of the main reasons you do this is so that the heart lays flat in the box when you're ready to pack it up. It's not lopsided. So when I was doing that, a little bit on this side, kind of chipped off. So I'm going to put a little bit more chocolate in here and put it back in the refrigerator for just a few minutes. Because I want to make sure I have a nice, even heart when I pull it out of here. I want it to lay nicely. So I'm going to do this. Go ahead and scrape the excess off now because it's just on that side. And I'll be right back. All right, so it's out of the refrigerator for the last time since I fixed the little corner. And so now the task at hand will be to get this chocolate heart out of this mold without breaking it. So let's go. Let's grab it at the corner. And let's gently pull it off. Mold is empty. Chocolate mold. Awesome. Hey guys, for this video, I'm going to show you how to decorate the chocolate breakable heart. Oh, that's upside down. All right, see? So can decorate this really however you want to, but today we're gonna make this a gold um, breakable heart. I'm using Chef Masters Edible Gold Spray, and then we're gonna put pink lettering on it using Chef Masters Chocolate uh, Candy Coloring. Well, it's for more than just chocolate, but I use it for chocolate. We're going to use the spray to color our heart. Make sure you get the entire heart. Looks like we ran out, but we got the majority of it covered. We're gonna let that dry. Doesn't take long, maybe a good five minutes or so, and it's nice and dry. While that's drying, we're gonna move that over to the side. 
And so I just have these to make our letters with. And actually today we're just gonna do I Love You. So I have a little bit of chocolate melted left over from making the heart. We're just gonna use about two drops of the pink food color. Give it a good stir. And the good thing about this food coloring, it doesn't make your chocolate seize up. So make sure you do not use a water-based food coloring because if you do, your chocolate will seize up and it will be really hard to move it around. All right. So because these letters are really small, I'm going to use this bottle with the tip on it to put my pink chocolate in. Alrighty. So, you see it's not a lot of chocolate, but I'm only going to use a heart. In this letter mold, well, this is actually the number mold that the heart is in, but it's okay. Once you get it in there, kind of flatten it out. Set it to the side. Let it dry. And then I'm going to use the eye in this mold. And use another one just in case that one don't turn out right. I'll have two for backup. Kind of stretch it sometime to make sure that the chocolate gets all the way down there in the letter. And then the U. And then let's use a backup U just in case. Uh oh. All right. I'm gonna make sure you got the letter all the way down in there. All right. I'm gonna let these dry for a minute, and then I'll be back and show you how to get those letters out of those molds, get them onto our heart. We'll put some other decoration on there, maybe. I don't know. And we'll be back. Alrighty, so our gold heart is dry. And so now we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of edible pink glitter, hot pink glitter. Just put a little bit on your fingers. And sprinkle on your heart just to give it a little bit of a pop. All right. Let's get our letters out the refrigerator because they should be nice and hard now. Just a really simple decoration for this heart. So our hearts, we're gonna pop them out the mold. They should come out really easy. All righty. And then we got our eyes and then our U's. Be very careful with the U's because those can break in half. All right, there we go. So we're gonna use just a little bit of the melted chocolate just as a glue. I'm going to put I love you. And this can be used as in any day gift, a Valentine's Day gift since that's coming up here. A 
a wedding anniversary gift, whatever you want to use it for. All right. There you have it, your breakable heart. And you can put anything you want underneath it to break it. You have a mallet to break it and I'll do a video to show you guys how to do that. But thank you for watching our video. Click like, click subscribe. Don't forget to click share. Have a good day.